Welcome back to the Ecto Violence channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing all eight alien movies spanning five decades. We're going to be ranking them on a tier list, and we're going to be going in release order, starting with 1979's Alien. Alien was not the first movie in the Alien franchise that I saw. Aliens was. We'll talk about that in just a second. As of right now, Alien is my favorite movie in the Alien franchise. I'm not the first to say this, but it's essentially a slasher in space. Instead of Michael Myers, you get a xenomorph. My favorite performance in this movie? Harry Dean Stanton. Is that just because I really like Harry Dean Stanton? Yes. This movie's beautiful to look at. The music, the tension, the build-up, the mystery. It's a near-perfect movie for me. When I was 16, I started working at a movie theater, and I saw I had money for the first time. I bought a DVD set that contained the first four Alien movies. That was the first time I had seen Alien all the way through, because I had just seen it on TV randomly before that. I fell in love, and much like Terminator, I like the first better than the second. A lot of people regard the second as the best. And I'm not just saying that to be a contrarian or whatever. I really enjoy the firsts better because they are more horror-oriented rather than action. Nothing wrong with action. I love Aliens as well, which we'll get to in a minute. But for now, we're going to throw Alien in the S tier. Moving on to 1987's Aliens. This is one of the best movies of the 80s. I saw this one when I was maybe six or seven. My mom was big into sci-fi movies, so she's the one who showed me Terminator and Aliens and Back to the Future, and these movies became part of my soul. I remember watching it with her, and it was, you know, probably a couple years after Titanic came out, and she was like, you know, trying to say, hey, that's Bill Paxton, you know, the guy from uh, Twister and Titanic. Now, I love Bill Paxton. Aliens is wonderful. The only reason I like Alien better is because I'm more of a horror fan than an action fan. It's a little artsier, but when we're talking a tier list, I'm gonna have to just throw Aliens in the S tier as well, because it's just that good. Good. Next up, 1992's Alien 3. Now this one I've seen a lot of different mixed opinions online. It's like the Halloween H2O of the Alien movies. Now maybe you could say that Resurrection's that, but I think Resurrection is more like Halloween Resurrection, in that I hate them both. But anyway. I also really don't like Alien 3. Um, I've only watched this one maybe twice, the first time I couldn't even get through it. Now maybe that says more about my attention span than the movie, I don't know. Um, I do want to give this movie another shot and see how I feel now. It's been a few years, probably five or six years since the last time I tried to watch it. But for now, we're just going to throw it in C tier. Next up, from 1997, Alien Resurrection. Yet another one I've only seen once. When the new Alien movie comes out, I'm definitely going to go back and revisit every one of these. And then we'll do another ranking with that one in there. But I remember seeing this one for the first time when I got that DVD set, like I was saying. And again, I just couldn't make it through the movie, no matter how many times I tried to watch it. And I revisited it probably five or six years ago when I was re-watching them all again. And I made it through it, but, you know... Eh, not for me. So we're gonna go D tier. Coming up next is 2004's Alien vs. Predator. This was my first Alien movie I saw in a theater, and it was the first Predator movie that I ever saw. For some reason, the Predator movies escaped me as a child. But I was 13, and I went to the mall theater to see this with a couple of my friends. And I was a big Alien fan, so I was rooting for Alien the whole time. And I don't think it's a terrible movie. I definitely want to revisit it again, because I've watched it once since I saw it in theaters then. I've seen it twice in my lifetime. Maybe three times tops. It's intriguing. It has some great moments, not a terrible plot. So we're just going to go ahead and throw that one in B tier for now. And the follow-up from 2007, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Um, I really don't give a crap about this one. I think it does have its own weird little following online, but I can't seem to locate anything about that. Generally, when if, if I'm doing like an Alien marathon, I don't even watch these ones. But again, I think it's worth revisiting one more time at least to see how my fully developed brain views it, you know? But I gotta say, it's going to be D tier for me. And next... Next up is 2012's Prometheus. A lot of you are going to want to tell me to harm myself and other things after I tell you the ranking on this one. I love Prometheus. I saw this in theaters with my mom. It was the first alien movie we got to see together in a theater. And sure, it has its problems. You know, the engineers are eh. And obviously that's a, the main plot. But all the horror scenes, the deaths, the crazy alien evolution shit. I'm sorry, but I'm a huge fan, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. I thought Michael Fassbender was amazing as David. Idris Elba was a fun ship captain. I really liked seeing him in that role. And honestly, Prometheus is in my top three alien movies. And for that reason, it's gonna be A tier. I really enjoy Prometheus. It's also technically a Christmas movie. They arrive to the planet on Christmas. So now I get an alien movie to watch every Christmas season too. Can't have enough alternative Christmas movies. Can only watch Die Hard, Batman, Returns, and Gremlins over and over so many times. And believe me, I will. Lastly is 2017's Alien Covenant. I worked in a movie theater when this came out, and I was attending school in Arizona, so I at least didn't have to pay for this one, because goddamn, I'd be pissed if I did. I was 
very interested. Michael Fassbender was back, Danny McBride. You had me interested, man. I was there for it. But I was severely let down. Michael Fassbender's accent was complete, absolute trash in this movie. I understood what they were doing, I get it, but it was annoying, and I, I just couldn't even think about anything else while he was talking. I was just like, ugh. I just really didn't like this one, so we're gonna go ahead and just throw it in the D tier. And so, that is my ranking of the Alien movies. Alien Romulus is going to be coming out this August. We will revisit this list then. Let me know what your rankings are and why you think I'm insane for liking Prometheus. If you like the video, as always, be sure to like and be kind. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.